All right, guys, welcome back. It's me, Daniel, with VintageMagic.com. And today I have a video about items that are on eBay auction and will be featured at the Culture Collision Trade Show in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, this upcoming uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 25th, 26th, 27th. And yes, even this beautiful original artwork, Time Walk, will be featured it will not be for sale on eBay, but at least it's something to kind of uh, allow the, the fans out there who are fans of magic. Possibly, you know, obviously fans are not even um, into magic. Uh, baseball cards, sneakers, comics. Uh, I think the show is going to be pretty diverse. So this will be on display at the eBay booth. Check it out. So let, I'm going to go over these items here and uh, let's take a look. Enjoy the video. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com. Alright guys, welcome back. So yeah, so most of these items will be on display, including the original artwork for Time Walk uh, at the eBay booth at the Culture Collision Trade Show, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, the 25th and 27th of February. And basically, I'm going to go over uh, some of the items. So uh, first off, we have this beautiful beta uh, booster pack. Uh, this, I don't think, will be actually on auction, but I actually want to display it for you guys. These are um, This is the first generation case where the flap here was lightly... Uh, put over but now the ones that are made with PSA have the actual flap out so you could probably convert this over but these are the older generation ones <coughs> this is a unlimited booster pack and you know I, I try to bring a, a range of items you know not everything's for sale um, main reason why is uh, well you know I like to do a lot of uh, retail sales store items uh, offline sales uh, obviously, the time walk. I'm gonna put this right here for show. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, there you go. And yeah, and then I also have this interesting card will be on display. I haven't decided I'm gonna put this on auction. So today is actually Wednesday evening, and I'm trying to figure out <coughs> what am I gonna display or not. Haven't had a chance to, but. I will tell you the ones that are on eBay auction already, the Summer Magic cards, and I'll discuss that here shortly. This is a, uh, Steve, the Woz, Steve Wozniak signed this in 2019, and he opened a beta booster pack. That's right. And the rare was indeed an artifact, but this is a lightning bolt, obviously super iconic, signed by him, and I will be putting this out on display also. I thought it was really cool. Uh, this is kind of cool. I will have a video on Finance Friday about these test prints. So be aware of these. This is a, these awesome test printing cards. My friend Tavis Keen opened the only test printing deck that I know of. Um, and they're just absolutely gorgeous cards. Um, they are a little off-centered. So I will, full disclosure, none of the cards got 9.5. But pretty much all of them got 9s. So... Um, if you're interested in any of the cards, the Finance Friday video will be on uh, this Friday. So um, we obviously have, I represent one of each land, the Plains, the Swamp Plains, the Sunset Island, which is very popular, the beautiful Red Sky Mountain. And according to, <laughs> according to CGC, it's the Mushrooms. The Mushrooms Forest is back. But in test printing mode. Very cool. All right. So these five will be on eBay or eBay uh, auctions. Uh, I think I'll be putting a reserve on them just because they are very unique. And I want to make sure that, um, you know, the price is pretty firm on those. I think I'm going to start them around four to $5,000 each. Because they're so rare and limited. All right. I'll just put the time block there for a little showcase. All right, so um, here is a PSA 10, Mistress Workshop. Uh, I will be putting this on 
I think our uh, at the Culture Collision show, but I will probably put this as an eBay store item. Probably wondering why in the world have I not figured it out yet? Well, because I've run out of time. That's what happened. Here's a beautiful Quad Plus, Quad Plus Mistress uh, Factory, or I'm sorry, Mistress Workshop uh, with a ten. Beautiful card, super rare to get those subgrades. This is crazy. A black label. That's right, black label, baby. Look at that. All tens. And yes, I know. I know it's only a plateau. Calm down, but it's absolutely stunning. This will be at show, uh, at the booth. I mean, it, you know, to be honest, I don't even know what the price is thing at. Uh, I don't even think it's going to be on eBay. I'm just gonna, you know, basically Beckett doesn't really give black label cards very often, and um, this car is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right, this is kind of funny. This is an old card I used to have. Back in the day, came back to me. This is a quad 9.5 beta ancestral altered by uh, Richard Garfield on the case, then signed for Udo from Mark Poole. And what's interesting about that is, um, <clears throat> I think, I think it's a uh, one of those things where Udo was one of my first clients uh, when I first started my business from South. Africa and this was card was his he changed his collecting ways I ended up I think selling it uh, to another guy and this was reacquired by me anyway so really cool card uh, Richard Garfield signed at I think the Game Storm show in Portland Oregon in winter 2000 and I would say the winter 2010 January or something all right this card is not for sale but um, not, I don't know if it's going to be on display or not, but I thought I'd show you this. This is a, a super rare card sold by us. Three nine fives and an eight because that stupid print dot exists for the Mock Sapphire Alpha. But simply put, one of the most difficult cards ever to get a 9.5. I think there's only three in the pop where two of them were all have the print dot slightly and one of them has not. There's only one card I've ever seen without a print dot. And I've already had that sold. That's signed. Also about Dan Frazier. I'm going to do a video on that one day. But that's a cool card. Now we have some um, cheaper alpha cards. Cheaper. <laughs> that's funny to say that. But less expensive ones. These are on eBay auction right now. So Landward Elves. Singer Vampire. These are all alpha. 8.5 Dragon Well. And the Animate. Dead. Uh, I haven't really packed yet, so I'm going to figure out if I can fit all this, but these might not be on display because they're not as valuable, but we'll we'll see what our packing has. Uh, this is kind of cool. I just thought I'd throw this in there. It's a Beta Quad Plus uh, Shivan Dragon. I really like this card. Super clean, pack fresh. I uh, haven't decided if I'm going to bring this or not, or not but um, yeah, I, I just like Shivan Dragons for Suvan Doppelgangers. Uh, Force of Nature's are growing in value. Iconic cards of our game. Uh, something to look after if you are trying to invest. This is a basic uh, 9.5 Wheel of Fortune. Super clean card. Pack fresh. The centering, obviously, top to bottom is really hard on this card over the years. I don't think I've ever found one realistically centered. The top to bottom has always been hard. But... Um, I don't know. There might be a quad out there. I don't know, but I doubt there's a BGS 10. It's a super nice card, though. All right. So these cards here are summer magic cards that are indeed um, available for purchase. They're already on eBay auction. So let's start with, start out with the most important one. The basic subgrade Underground C 9.5 summer magic card. Look at this thing. It is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous on eBay auction right now. I think it ends, well, it ends after the Culture Collision show or a day or two after, but <coughs> absolutely stunning. You're not going to want to miss it out. This card's probably going to be around the 20K range when it's all done. I don't know. It might go for 25, depending on whoever wants it, but really nice card. Um, Beckett was, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like it could be, could be even a quad or has a 10 sub down the road, you know, if their grading changes. I'm going to just that let's see how i'm gonna do this i'm gonna see I put the wheel on top of there so yeah 
All right, I'm gonna put the time walk on the side here. Okay, now we have this, uh, yep, BGS 8, uh, Summer Magic, Summer uh, Savannah. Really nice card. Quad Plus, uh, Mana Vault. Beautiful card on eBay auction right now. And these are, all, I think the Summer Magic will pretty much be displayed at the show. <laughs> I don't really know how much space. That's that's the thing is they said I have a lot of space to show this year, uh, but I don't know. And it's also my first time going to the show, so I don't even know how it's going to be set up. We'll see. And again, guys, if you're interested in meeting up, love to meet you guys. This is a quad plus plus summer magic balance. Look at that. That is insanely beautiful. 0.5 from Pristine. Stunning. By the way, the previous Royal Assassin is a quad, so it's even better. Here's a Demonic Tutor, really iconic, 9 grade, but very affordable, uh, you know, affordable as it gets for Magic cards. And uh, don't forget to bid on this one. Summer Magic, by the way, as you guys know, is one of the rarest of them all with this uh, basic Badlands. I, I got to say, you know, Summer Magic was, a lot of people have all these tales about, you know, there was some in the dumpster and... Uh, they're distributed to Ireland and Texas. And yeah, you know, there was some distribution of it. Um, but, you know, all in all, the rarity is super rare. I think people feel like, oh, there could be hundreds of millions of cards out there, but it's not. It's super rare. I can uh, guarantee you it's not 100 million cards. All right, so this card is the card that has defined misprints in many ways, the blue hurricane. As you know, hurricane is a green symbol. And... This is a blue frame, which makes it the blue hurricane. Super iconic. And in 8.5, uh, with two nine tines and a 9.5, this is going to be uh, a true gem in someone's collection. <clears throat> this card I thought was undergraded. This card has three 9.5s and an 8 centering, making it an 8.5. If the centering was an 8.5, this would be a 9. And honestly, I've, I've seen this card in the same centering orientation before and it's gotten um a nine before so i think bgs was a little bit hard on it and i have graded nine fives of that card before but all right and here's a dual land tundra beautiful card all nines and eight centering of course i think this definitely deserves eight centering i think the shivan's a little bit better all right that's it for the Summer Magic. They are all on eBay auction right now. And the big dog, obviously, the Alpha Black Lotus Basic Subgrade nine, uh, with nine corners. Actually, one of the nicest Alpha um, Black Lotuses I have ever submitted that did not be considered a quad. It's probably the nicest basic I've ever seen. Uh, so if you're at the Culture Collision Show, this card is extremely nice. I don't even know what to say. I just, it's absolutely pack fresh, beautiful. Um, I don't know. If you're at the Culture Collision Show, you're going to like this card. But I haven't really priced it out or anything, but it's definitely deserving of a quad, in my opinion, in some ways. All right. Let's see what we got here. So here we got uh, some more uh, more affordable cards. <laughs> this is uh, just a regular, you know, basic lance. We've got two swamps. Let's see if we can do it this way. Two swamps. A mountain, two mountains, and I think the only one is the Path Forest. That's the one I did not have. I, I do have them, but I just did not pay attention and b scan it in or something. Here's the Plains and, of course, the two islands. So these are all nine fives, so nine cards missing the Path Forest. For your bidding pleasure at the Culture Collision Show, they will, I don't know if they're going to be displayed or not, debating on the space, but we will see. All right, last but not least, I have um, some ungraded cards. I just figured I'd show you. Uh, our friend Luis sent these to me to get sold. So I'm going to put these on the auction also for Culture Collision. But really, oh, you know what? They're all like sideways. So let me. That's better, right? So we have Plateau, two Plateau Revise, a Savannah, a Copy Artifact, a Preacher. This is a. You know, car that spiked up a little bit. Nice little library, Alexandria. You know, one of my favorite cards, but Brian Weissman's unfavorite card. Transmute Artifact. Argivian, Archaeologist. 
a nice candelabra, uh, LP-ish, MP maybe, Mirror Universe. And this card is a reserveless card, I believe, from the dark. It spiked up a little bit to about around $100, but this is in the mix. Not a super valuable card, but still in the mix. Grim Monolith obviously has grown in value with reserveless buyouts. And, of course, the Mox Diamond, super popular card, uh, super awesome, grown in value. And this is the FBB, a foreign black border, uh, Italian Eureka. And that's the ungraded cards my friend Luis from Brazil sent me to help sell. Um, I also will, you know what, I'm also in this video show you some Pokemon boxes that will be for sale. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have these Pokemon boxes at the Culture Collision show. But give me a second, and I'll pull them out. Hold on a second. All right, before I begin with the Pokemon, real quick, I do have other um, uh, Summer Magic cards that are on eBay auction right now, like a Savannah Islands 9.5, Mahomoto Dijin, Key Rares. So do not miss out. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, some of the last of the ones I have available. All right, this one is a Pokemon. I know you guys is a Magic Channel, but I don't. I don't think I'm going to bring this to Culture Collision. I'm going to see how much my packing is here in a second. This is a pre-constructed deck. Uh, there's a total of uh, eight theme decks. Now I realize I put ten on the description, so that's not right. But this is base set two, which also has the Charizard. Uh, I think it mirrors the first edition unlimited set, and also. Uh, base set two is a mirror of that with Charizard and the Hall of Foils. So I think you can pull that in this, and they're really rare, uh, something really special uh, for a collector. So if you're interested, all right, let's see what else we got. This one is the actual base set two, super uh, awesome. This is Wizards again, wrap. Um, you're probably gonna ask me, you've seen some of the Logan Paul fraud and stuff. Are there G.I. Joe cards in here? No, they're not. These are all uh, from collections that are either Wizards of Coast employees, card shop stores that failed uh, or sold out that have actual record of, uh, you know, sealed product over the years. I only buy from people like that. I don't buy it on eBay and then resell them. Um, you usually get host. So um, if, you, if you don't, I usually just buy from the source. That's kind of where my mentality is. Uh, too much risk involved. All right. Next is a gym challenge. So there was a gym hero set and a gym challenge set. Now, these are not first edition. These are all unlimited, by the way. These are some expansion sets. You would see a first edition logo, I think, right here. Typically on the gym challenge or right here. I don't. I forget. Uh, I'm not a huge expert. But this one has a little bit of a ding on the plastic. But overall, really nice box. All the pictures are on uh, auction. I think these will start... Friday, the, so the first day of Culture Collision. And yeah, and I was told that Pokemon is going to be represented somewhat at the show. Uh, there's going to be people selling it. This is Neo Discovery. So the Neo series had had Neo uh, Destiny, which is the most valuable one. There's Neo Genesis, Neo Discovery also. So this one is doesn't have the first edition logo. If it did, it's like it's really it's really right there. It's underneath the plastic. Sometimes really hard to see, but it's still a really nice unlimited box. I gotta say this one's one of the nicer. I remember this one coming from a case uh, years ago. I don't remember where, but <clears throat> yeah, hundred fifty dollars. This box is probably worth uh, seven thousand now or something like that. Maybe ten thousand. I don't know. I, I let the market decide, but. I do see people putting buy nows of that. Our right, next is, lastly, is the Team Rocket. Uh, the first edition logo is usually right there, I think. And, um, yeah, this is Team Rocket. Another cool expansion set for uh, Pokemon. Uh, Fossil was also one of the other ones. So it's, the, it's another edition that I have seen. I, I, I got stories to tell you. Like, I've sold, I used to, I, I've seen cases of this stuff sealed. And I if I would have known that those boxes and everything was worth something i would have kept them all and everything it's insane i knew from neo genesis to you know just every set basically it's insane so uh i do have pokemon available uh I, please don't want to inquire about what i have or whatever because i don't divulge that but i do have 
you know, I do have positions in it. I just don't bother to sell them that often. Uh, part of the reason why is because I'm focused on other stuff and magic. Um, but once in a while, I do sell them. And so for this show, I think eBay wanted some Pokemon uh, displayed. So I probably will try to bring a box here and there if I can. So I'm going to go pack here right after this. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you again. Thank you. Special thanks to eBay. Thank you again for allowing me to uh, join you at the show. Uh, contribute some of the original artwork from Magic, Seal Product, uh, for Pokemon, and some obviously some high end cool stuff, you know, in Magic Gathering history. If you're interested in bidding on any of the auctions, the link will be below. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys at the show. If you guys want to meet up, <coughs> grab uh, you grab a drink, grab some dinner, grab some lunch, whatever you know, whatever the schedule is. I'm not really doing much. Uh, I do have a, a meeting on Saturday. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to be there from Thursday to Monday. So you'll find me, give me a call, uh, the web, my, my website, my phone number is there. I'd love to meet you guys. If you are looking to sell a collection, this is important. Looking to sell a collection, want me to appraise something. I could definitely help you, help you out. The only problem is I don't have a booth at the show. eBay's booth is for display of items on, on eBay and, you know, just showcase. So uh, if you have items for sale, con contact me at my phone number um, or we can meet outside the show and talk more about it. I know some of you have tried to approach me before, but I can't talk about deals while I'm at the show. So just give me a call. We can arrange a time at the hotel or something and we can definitely meet up. Love to hear your story about magic, story about magic. And if you want to play some magic, if you know, stuff like that. If we got some time, love to do that also. All right, guys, have a great day. Enjoy the eBay auctions that are on auction right now. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Again, these are all in Culture Collisions. Uh, it, it, they're all in Culture Collision in Atlanta, Georgia. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 25th to the 27th. Most of these items will be on, on display, uh, depending on how I can fit this all in my bag here shortly. All right, guys. Take care. Talk to you soon. Hey everyone, it's me, Daniel, with VintageMagic.com. I want to share with you more about how we handle consignments. So to begin the consignment process, we actually need to start with the consultation service. In this consultation, I will determine what you're looking to do. And generally, consigners usually tell me, hey, Dan, I'm looking to sell my items and maximize the value of their collection. After we determine through the consultation, I usually like to do an appraisal process. And in the appraisal process, in terms of a consignment, is more fitted towards authenticity and valuation for current market values. From there, after a contract is crafted and signed, we will then receive the items from you. The reason why our consignment process is very thorough is we also identify cards that could be graded so then they can maximize higher dollar values. So the payment process is very simple. Once we have sold your items, you'll get an updated ledger and we will process payment um, for whatever form of payment you need. As a consigner, you're gonna experience our white glove service. What that means is I'm gonna personally handle your collectibles from beginning to end. And rest assured, the client that purchases your collectibles will also receive the same white glove service. It's a signature service that I really pride myself on in working closely with my clients. Vintage Magic. Game. Collect. Invest. For more information about our consulting and professional services, visit VintageMagic.com.